guys, I hope you don't mind the change of background, my usual setup, my lighting bulbs have exploded and I don't have any spare ones so I hope you can bear with me with this boring plain background. So in this video I'm going to do my long awaited skincare routine. This has been requested for a long time. The past few months my skin has been flawless. Although the past, I want to say, two weeks, my skin has gone back to hating me. It's hormones, but I'm trying to fight that with still carrying on with my skincare routine and drinking lots of water. That really helped. So before I even show products, drinking two litres of water really, really helps your skin and made such a difference until the hormones set in. So Liz Earl approached me and asked if I wanted to do a video with them. So as you can tell by the title, this is an ad. This does not change whatsoever the products I'm using. I've brought in a new product which I got to try, which I genuinely love, so I wanted to share it with you. But these products I use, if you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you'll know I've used their products for a long, long time. But I don't want the word ad to scare you off because this is actually what I do use for my skin. So in this video I'm going to show you my morning skincare routine and also my evening skincare routine. So if you want to check those out then please carry on watching. For my morning skincare routine I first use the Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cleanse and Polish. This is one of their limited edition ones. This is the Rose and Lavender which is a very calming soothing scent. If you can get your hands on the limited edition ones the scents of those are beautiful. The normal ones are nice too but I do quite like the extra special ones. So in the mornings I usually use two pumps of this and then I first put it on my hands, spread it across my face. So when you're using the product it's good to use upwards and outward circular motions and as you'll see in the demo hopefully I'm demonstrating beautifully the different massage techniques you can do. This just helps with the blood circulation in your face and drains any unwanted toxins. Where I'm doing the three circles around the jawline is really good for draining those areas. Hormonally I tend to get a lot of kind of breakouts here so that one is really good for it. Also if you have dark circles or puffy eyes the one where I drag down is really good for that. The one where I go like this across the face is really good if you have acne. So once I have massaged that into the skin I then use my magnetone so I run this under the tap and then kind of shake it off otherwise you're going to spray everywhere in the bathroom because it's just going to go everywhere. I then use this across my face keeping it moving and the brush head I have on this one like luxury silky one so it's softer than the normal brush head that comes with it. I just prefer the softer um, brush head. Also I press it twice which is the sensitive mode. Again I just prefer using it more the softer option. I still use this twice a day but now I just use this in the morning. After that I run the mizzen cloth under hot water kind of hot but still that you can touch it. You want it to be nice and hot to open up the pores in your skin but you don't want to burn yourself as well. So when you're using this again in upwards and circular motions and then rinse it off, after that splash your face with cool clean water then I'll get a clean flannel and I'll pat my face dry. I do change my flannels once a day because in the morning I'll use one side, in the evening I'll use the other side and I just don't want to be using the same ones to help keep my face bacterial free and hopefully as clean as possible. After that I then spray my face with the Liz Earl Instant Tonic Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. This also comes in the bottle where you can pour it onto a cotton pad and put it on. But I prefer spraying it and I don't really like to use much cotton wool because I'm lazy. I then let it air dry and push it into my face. This is a new product I mentioned in the beginning. This is the Super Skin Face Serum and this smells really nice. It's gently scented. I use two pumps of this and then put it through my hands evenly onto the face and then I pat it into the skin. You don't have to deeply like massage it in. It will sink in. It kind of at first you're like will it but it does sink in really well and I put it onto my neck and it does really feel like it plumps and firms the skin and just makes your skin feel really, really nice. So it does say on it visibly lifts firms and even skin tone. Things that help my skin tone I'm gonna love. And then I use a moisturizer. This one 
I don't even know how to pronounce so I will include the <laughs> close-up of this. This is the Clearance Expert. This is really good for spots and blackheads. I love the smell of it. It's not too fragrant but it smells calming and soothing and I have been using this I want to say for three months and I do really really like it. This alongside other things I use I do feel it's helping reduce the pore size and kind of blackheads especially in my nose. My nose is a problem area but I really like these. I actually really enjoy taking my makeup off in the evenings and I even make the effort to even if I'm stumbling in from a night out it's five in the morning I still make sure I remove my makeup because it makes so much difference to your skin so back in with this this time I'll use three pumps focus on really massaging it into the makeup to help break it down creamy consistency really helps melt the makeup and you know the benefit there were mascara and the benefit push-up gel liner. I've used this stuff to remove it and it comes off and that stuff is stubborn because it has its own remover for it but this stuff gets off everything. It gets off stubborn lipstick, it will get this off. This time I don't use the cleansing brush but yeah once I have gone all around the edges I then really work it into the eyes. I tend to leave that last because I don't really want to be rubbing mascara and my eyebrows all over my face so once I've made myself look like a panda I then get this, rinse it off again into hot water and then gentle circular motions and then changing to like a clean piece each time. I'm able to take off all my makeup using this mizzen cloth but I really want to make sure I've got a really nice deep cleanse. I will double cleanse in the evenings so I will make sure I've rinsed this off kind of cleaned it so it looks nice and white again. It's really easy to clean as well. Um, I'm not sure if you're meant to do this but I sometimes use a nail brush to help scrub off the makeup. Rinse it off hot water again and then I will go in with one or two more pumps of this, put it on the face again, take it off with the cloth. It is really really fast and if I have a full face of makeup like I do now I'll tend to do two cleansers of this, so double cleanse, just to make sure I've really got areas, especially off the hairline and the eyes, the jaw, just so I haven't missed areas to make sure I am squeaky clean. So once those are done, again I sprayed this on. This is just so refreshing and you can use this through the day if you're really hot, then you can use this to kind of just revive your skin. So after that I actually skip a moisturiser and then I use this stuff which you really must have seen because I've raved about this so much. This is the Liz Earl Super Skin Concentrate. I haven't used a lot of this because sometimes I use the other version. So there's this version which is in the pump and there's also the smaller more travel size friendly which is in the rollable. So I've kind of been using that more so that's why I haven't gone through this loads but I just use one pump of this, put this onto your hands and then just oh, massage it into your skin. Again you can do the facial massages I showed before with the cleanse and polish and then just press it into your skin and it soaks in and feels so nice. Really plumps and evens the skin. All these red marks I have on my face it really helps fade those much quicker than if you left them. Thoroughly enjoy this. It smells so beautiful. It smells like a spa. All those nice kind of botanical fragrances, all the oils. The rose hip oil in this really helps with the fading of the marks. So this stuff is liquid gold. I love this. If I've got some nice spots then I'll tend to use my Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Gel. Also I'll use this which is the Witch Skincare Blemish Stick. Then the last thing I use on my skin is this. This is a Priori Skin Renewal Cream. I've been using this stuff for well over a year now. This is the second one I've gone through. It does last a long time. You don't need a lot. A little does go a long way. Always make sure I put this on my nose especially then areas that I really want to fade. So areas of pigmentation from previous blemishes this also helps to fade those marks. And the last thing I use is an eye cream. This was just a free sample I got from Estelle Lauder. It's the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. It doesn't say cream on it but it should. For this I just kind of dot it under the eye and then sweep it just keeping it under that kind of dark eye baggy 
area and this does really make a difference in the morning than when I do my eye makeup. I find my concealer goes on nicer, it's a lot more hydrated and feels a lot softer. So that was my morning and my evening skincare routine. I think it's fairly simple, I don't really use a bunch of products and if my skin is spot free I then use even less products. Again, drink lots of water, it really does make a difference. I hope this has helped you, this skincare routine I've been doing on my face for at least I want to say three to four months and it has made such a difference except I wish I filmed before the hormones came into action. But I hope the demos were helpful as well. I asked you guys, I think it was on Twitter, if you just wanted a talk through or a demo and people said demo so I listened to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Where are you?